November 1967, following the aftermath of the riots in Newark, New Jersey, the Chancellor of Higher Education, Ralph A. Dungan, proposed a program to help young women and men from disadvantaged backgrounds attend college. The following February, Governor Richard Hughes presented his moral recommitment message to the New Jersey State Legislature, calling for a broad range of programs to address the conditions contributing to the previous summer's unrest. Among those programs was the Educational Opportunity Fund that was sponsored by then-freshman legislator Thomas Kane. The EOF program currently provides assistance and resources for underrepresented students who have exhibited the commitment, motivation, and the potential for success to pursue a higher education. I think many people would have a different idea of what EOF was going to be about in 1968 when you know a, a freshman congressman, Th Thomas Kane, came in and said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start, we're going to put the legislation through for these students, you know. Seven students who had tied themselves to a building and refused to leave and what we know as the Rutgers Newark campus. Those were important parts of it starting. So when we start to look at the 50 year history and it's 50th year, we need to know that in these 50 years, it's not about what we've got done, but what we will get done in the next 50. Many of the students, almost all the students, and it didn't matter what you know ethnicity or gender, that was irrelevant. These were students from disadvantaged backgrounds, financially disadvantaged backgrounds, but who showed academic promise to succeed. EOF just means you need some assistance. Well, we all need assistance, no matter who we are, no matter where we are. And we talk about the, perhaps the stigma or something negative being associated with being an EOS student. I always say that if that is indeed the case, there's a couple of things. One, we need to educate people, most importantly, because how we feel about ourselves, a lot of that is our reflection from the mirror of what it is that people have presented to us. And as someone who has gone through a program like this, I know what that feels, but most importantly, I am EOF proud. And that's the piece that I like to impart upon the students. And so the rest of us, there's nothing to be saddened by, shamed of, guilt of, feeling bad about. No, because you were selected to be part of a special journey. You made it. With each student that we have within the EOF community, we have the opportunity to truly tap um, the untapped human potential, to create opportunities um, for individuals that society sometimes may have long forgotten. No, the EOF program provides that hope you know, um, for communities that have lost all hope it provides that opportunity for that one young person to find their voice, to find their calling, and to contribute to humanity. So I always used to tell my EOF students, it is an honor to be a part of this program. You know, so many people apply, but to be able to be selected and to be able to participate in the program truly is an honor. And that's how you should really look at it, as an honor. 25 years ago, loans really weren't a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of other things that were part of the problem, but loans really weren't. And I can definitely say that in the past 25 years, we've had struggles amongst ourselves and amongst everybody just because of the fact that we don't want to see our students start out in the world with very, very large loan debt. Uh, Dr. Kesselman has been supportive of us from the very beginning with giving us the institutional funding that's really allowed students to not to go into tremendous loan debt. The, the college's contribution, their, their commitment to making students not have to take on that kind of burden has been tremendous in, in their lives and we think it's one of the best aspects of the program for sure. Colleges and universities are bureaucracies, even though Stockton prides itself and I think we're one of the best at eliminating bureaucracy. So I, w I saw myself as a bureaucracy buster for them. So in other words, if there were issues related to their payments or billing, I would get in between them and the bureaucrat who was responsible for making certain that happened at the school. I learned all the different areas that a student could get, you know, screwed up academically, no fault of his or her own. And so it taught me as an administrator, well, if I ever get into the position of being able to fix that, I will make sure that I do. Hi, I'm Orlando Ramos. I just completed the six-week EOF summer program here at Stockton. Um, in the fall, I'm looking forward to like really working hard now that I passed this EOF program. And now I know I have what it takes to succeed in college. I'm really looking forward to starting class and put to use what EOF has taught me. 
I'm Stephen Davis, the director of the Educational Opportunity Fund Program. This is the summer EOF class of 1993, academic boot camp. This is a very difficult and regimented program that starts quarter to six in the morning with morning exercises. The Educational Opportunity Fund Program gives students an opportunity to increase upon academic skills, self-confidence, and self-esteem. The EOF program is designed to help you reach your full academic potential. The first summer program that I was involved in was in the summer of 1977. And I've been teaching in the program almost every summer since then. The academic elements of the summer program are, are, are very, very powerful. Uh, you may or may not hear from others that the students are um, taken through a rather intensive experience. Uh, they um, get up very early in the morning, do exercises, they're in class the entire morning for about four hours. Uh, they get a short lunch break and then they're in uh, mandatory tutoring sessions for the afternoon. They get a short dinner break and then they're in mandatory tutoring sessions in the evening. One of the biggest impressions that I had um, that summer when I started was that there were a diverse uh, group of students. Um, there were students that looked like me and many that did not, but we were all a part of that summer. Our beloved Larry James um, greeted us every morning um, to do the exercises in um, the court and and one thing that he um, you know firmly believed is you know getting that early start um, the right way you know really followed you through through the rest of the day my summer experience oh, I'm not gonna lie it was a little tough uh, you gotta wake up like really early six six or seven in the morning you know you got to do your exercise uh, but I don't know it kind of like it kind of like made us uh, like like it was like it acted like glue, you know, because like uh, all the people that you meet there, they start to become your friends. You get to know them better. Uh, it also like kind of tested you going from that transition from high school to college. The workload, it, it doesn't compare really. So like I feel like it was a good way for me to like start to get acclimated to like how cult, uh, how college is compared to how high school is. Definitely I was not expecting that that type of summer program. I thought like okay we're gonna come we're gonna have classes and then we're gonna just that's it like we're gonna go chill in our room but it definitely instilled like a lot of discipline in me. Like I did not expect to be up at six o'clock in the morning running a mile every day but um still forever grateful for that experience. It started with dignity, intensity, and pride. Dignity is how you handle, you know, how you hold yourself. Intensity is how you approach things, and pride is your passion for it. And those were the words that, you know, we put forth. It started in 1980, uh, and we put that triangle that they're all connected, that, 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 over your heart. So, I mean, it was very, very important, uh, that bond, and, and to ensure that future generations, so what we would do would be certain that Students in the 80 program were counsel tutors or counselors in the 81 program, and the 81 be the 82, and so that it would pass it down succession, true legitimate succession planning. Seeing that sun up to sun down from exercise, knowing what dignity, intensity, and pride has has been about and always will be about with EOF is a very very important thing. And uh, working with the absolutely outstanding world-class faculty that we have. You have to have a certain type of faculty that just aren't here, but they're here for the students, they're here to do their best, and here to get the most out of the students. The best part of my job, uh, by far, is uh, when I get to teach in the EOF program, which is every summer. We get t-shirts at the end that say Survivor, and uh, certainly the students have to survive more than, than the faculty, but we all bring our best self. To the, to the program and um, we have a saying, we never, we never say uh, I'm, I'm teaching EOF, we always say are you doing EOF this year because it's a commitment and, and so my family knows for those you know six weeks these are, my, these are, the, these are the priorities in, in my life and, and I'm going to be uh, texting students past my bedtime or coordinators or tutors and, and um, and so is everybody else in the program. So if you, you, know, you look around and everybody's working so hard, you just want to up your game. I work primarily with first year students in general. And I enjoy doing that. And some of the reasons why I love working with students in the EOF program are the same as, as the reasons for wanting to work with any first year student. You get students who have just finished high school. Um, and everything is brand new in terms of university life. 
It's brand new academically, it's brand new uh, culturally, it's brand new socially, etc. Uh, and so I really enjoy being a part of something that helps students make that transition from high school to college life. Okay, Lakasha Stevenson, EOF 1990. I made a lot of friends here at Stockton going through the summer program. After the program was over, coming back in the fall, you really get the sense that it's a family type thing because students from other years, from the other programs, they're really embracing and they want to really help you out and make sure you stay here and you graduate and you know just help you out all over to get you well adjusted to the school. Well since I'm a freshman my this is my first year doing ELF and as an incoming freshman it was kinda nervous wondering what college was going to be like and when I started the EOF program I didn't know anybody there so it was like whoa where, who's all these people but literally within a week I knew everybody we did develop like really great friendships and we became like a family. The EOF program is the you know educational opportunity fund nah extension of family uh, from day one we tell them like your family we are here to support you. Honestly, I met some of my best friends throughout this program. So, I mean, in the terms of family, they meant it when they say you are a family. Everybody in that program is somebody that you can turn to. So it made my education a lot more easier too. So if I was stressed, I would just use those connections, talk to somebody, go out with somebody. I think we do a good job in terms of helping the students establish a community Maybe a family is a better name for it, in the sense that we want to make sure that each and every student in the program is responsible not only for him or herself, but also for those around her. And I think the program does a, a pretty decent job of that. Once you do the summer program and you're with those like 80 plus kids and um, faculty members and other um, students who are your tutors that are like above you, you really do like make connections and they really do become like family. Like I know when I have an issue with something or like I just like um, need help with something at school or not school related, I can go to anybody that I did EOF with, my teachers, you know, my tutors, I'm still in contact with all of them. So really is like family like you can always go to them. You're joined with people that have a common goal and that's to better themselves and to ultimately get an education and unlike when you're in high school um, you have really people that distract you um, and try to take you off of that path whereas when you're in college and you have that strong support service you're really creating that bond of students really trying to get each other over that finish line. Also you know the social um, aspect, you know, that it was uh, creating a home away from home, which a lot of, you know, students uh, thrive and look for, so it was building those connections. One of my roommates now is actually an EOF class below me, and she's like one of my best friends, so it's just, we all have that connection from EOF, we all share different stories from different years. You have that connection because you have those similarities, so it's just like, it's really just a, a giant family. Definitely, I feel like it is a family after a while. Like maybe at, when you first show up day one, you're like, ah, oh, you know, this is, it's, you know, it's very strict. I don't know if I'm going to like it. But like you give it some time and it grows on you. It really does. And honestly, if I could do EOF again, I would do it in a heartbeat. I, I recommend it to anybody that, that is eligible to do the program to do it. Because the people that you make throughout it, they'll stick, I wouldn't say maybe a lifetime. But so far, it's uh, that's what it seems like. Because uh, I don't think my friends are going away anytime soon. And I hope not, at least. We're all like a big family, like always like laughing and like hanging around and we're always like there for each other, which is like really great. Like I have that support system here that I would like at home and it's just like great to know like they're, they're there for me and that like we like share like that same common like understanding and like bond through like EOF. Tony Bethel, EOF counselor, Stockton State College. One of the uh, greatest advantages you, you get coming through the Stockton EOF summer program is getting a preliminary knowledge of the college, where all the offices are at, some of the people and professors you're going to meet before the school year begins, and an orientation about what college is about before you arrive. Um, well, besides the classes, it's definitely coming and knowing a bunch of people, even if most of us went in completely different ways with majors and like things that we do socially. It's just like you walk through the hallway like you don't feel as 
alone. Like I'm coming in and I know 70 people already. Like I'm gonna smile at 70 people throughout the day. So it definitely gives you that feeling of, oh, I have friends here already. Like I don't have to like go out of my way and be extra uncomfortable sometimes because it is kind of a stretch to try, try to make friends in a new environment. It helped me a lot with time management. I feel like time management is one of the biggest aspects of college. So along with being a student athlete, I had less time than others did. So EOF helped me get that together. I found being on campus and getting to know some of the professors, we took coursework actually with some of the faculty here at Stockton and got an opportunity to almost get a head start um, on writing courses and sort of the discipline of being in a college academic program. In essence, it gave me a sense of confidence about what I was going to embark on in a, a college, you know, experience. It helped me like be able to like get up for my 830s and like make sure I did my homework. I also work like off campus, so it helped me like manage between work and school and all that, so it was good. I knew the area already. I knew the facilities and of course new staff and the other 80 students in EOF. So it was like, instead of it being a new beginning, it was just a welcome back. As an EOF student, you come through the summer program, you don't know why it's important or what it's going to get you, but they're able to do a lot and able to carry a whole lot of different things. EOF's not about who you are, but it's always about who you become. My name is Carlos Caballero and I started in the EOF program in 1979 and graduated from Stockton in 1986. EOF provided one, a nurturing environment in which I could grow and secondly provided economic resources so that I could make that dream a reality. My name is Wayne Smith. I was a tutor in Stockton Skills Center for most of the 1980s so I go way back and this is the fifth year that I've been tutoring the EOF program. To me what's important about the EOF program is that it sort of stirs the pot um, uh, I think that in America we believe that people should be able to achieve whatever they want to achieve no matter how they get their start but the problem is the reality isn't really that way um, we're supposed to be equal educationally but it doesn't always turn out that way um, not everybody gets off on the right foot and I think one reason why the EOF program is an excellent idea is that it helps stir up that pot so that people who didn't get off on the right start at least have a chance uh, an opportunity uh, of achieving whatever they want to uh, at Stockton. Most importantly, what the EOF program did at Stockton was created a, I want to say, a, a real solid foundation to be a gateway to opportunity for many individuals. And these first few years that we have been here at Stockton have really been the building blocks of many individuals' careers, many individuals who have gone on and done great things. Uh, I, sometimes when I look at where our students have gone, I am just in utter amazement. They have surpassed, many of them have way surpassed us, and we can just like, wow. Well, I hope that 50 years from now, you would have 10 people like me saying how great and serving on the Board of Trustees of their alma mater, um, which I have the pleasure to do. Um, and But I think, very seriously, I think that um, EOF uh, and the funding and the academic, the sort of preparation of students, a diverse uh, set of students who otherwise don't have opportunities to be on a campus, doesn't stop with some of us. I think that it continues and in this global society is so much more important to make sure that these opportunities and the funding that comes with it continue to be protected and, and actually grow. What we try to do is support students through our various uh, financial programs designated for students in need. Could be EOF or non-EOF, but one of the things we want to make sure is that financial barriers are not there if they want to, and also that we encourage them to do that, that we encourage them to expand their horizons beyond, like I said, when we were doing it, it was just beyond the state of New Jersey. Now we're going beyond the borders of the United States. So that shows you the growth of the program, truly. Uh, and that's what you want. And I'm talking about the growth of the reach of the program. And that, that's what you want to be able to do. So all of that is critically important because we're in a global wor world. And if our students aren't you know, cognizant of that and aren't made aware of that and don't have the same opportunities as others do, then they're going to be left behind. And we absolutely do not want that to happen. Never have, never will. 
we need to show our folks right now from freshmen on up and from the summer program up how to give because how to, that's how the EOF program will not only stay intact, will continue to be a linchpin and be a model uh, in leadership and all the things we've done. So many people look at it from a standpoint of a financial aid package. EOF is much more than a financial aid package. It's a dynamic opportunity uh, to assist students not to just make it in school, but to be the best that they can be. What I would like to see in the next 50 years of EOF um, are that many of the students that we've been able to touch and advocate for, for them to come back into the fold and for others that believe what we believe, which is that we should not ever look down on a person unless we're ready to pick them up and provide them with the opportunity to change their lives. Um, I would hope within the next 50 years we will have galvanized enough support for the program where we would have the opportunity to double at least uh, or even triple the size of the program. I want EOF to expand. I feel like that's my number one, not requirement, but like my number one like wish is just to see it expand and then kind of for traditional students to understand like the importance of it because we already know the importance of it as EOF students. Um, I feel like having traditional students see it is just like the help I guess would be greater and then the awareness of like what EOF is because I've had to explain it and that's fine but it's just like this has this is a program that's been here for 50 years so it definitely should have more people should be more aware of it. There was always a struggle the struggle for funding, adequate resources, you know, tuition has gone up, books are high, how do we support our students? And I always say at the end of the day, we fix it, because that's what family does. We just want people to come in, love the program, give to the program, I think as much as we have given, mm -hmm. and, and, and we give because that's what we want to do. We don't give because we have to, we give because that's what we want to do. And I, that's what I hope the program continues the next 50 years with people who really care about the kids because that's the only thing that's important is the kids, their success and hopefully that's what will happen in 50 years from now. And I would hope for the next 50 years that that same legacy of caring, that same legacy of family, uh, student, because we are student-centered, that, that it continues and that we are able to even do more because research is telling us that many of the students that are coming to us in the future are gonna have many more needs and we're gonna to have to be prepared to accommodate them. And that's what I'd like to see going forward.